G'day guys, what is up? Welcome to Motorfields, I'm Rob Hamilton and today's episode I am going to show you guys how to detail and clean your motorcycle like an absolute pro. Well maybe not me, I'm going to take you to a place, we're heading there right now, called Detail Hub, where we're going to meet up with Prem, the absolute detailing master. I've never met him before, I've just looked up um, through Instagram and he's going to take you through the whole thing. Also, I'm doing my first giveaway. What? Over $600 in prizes. I know, insane. What's this clown doing? Oh God, oh God, stay away from me. So stick around. Right around, right, right. I think it's somewhere in here. There's some bikes there, that's it. Bye. Hey bro. Good man, how are you? Nice to meet you man. So. Yeah, good, bro. This is sick. This is a <laughs> nice little. Yeah, mate. I'm, um, you know, just a nice little place to do motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. With a nice boy stuff there, and yeah, when only started it six months ago, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So you're pretty, it's pretty fresh. It's still fresh, yeah, because I started doing one wrapping and stuff. Ah, oh, sick. Uh, changing colors and all sorts of things. So that requires a bit of a shop. Yeah, and sure. I have a mobile service as well, so. Oh, right, okay. Mobile, you know, so you can get anyone. Yeah, I do still that. Um, yeah, okay. I've got a guy who does a lot of you know, cars. Sure. It's like it's hard to find people who can do bikes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, man, because like stuff like, man, I've tried to clean this so many times. Oh, man. <laughs> and it just like, like all in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no chance, man. Even the rims, me and Sean got a brush and we were scrubbing the wheels and they're still garbage, man. <laughs> so those sort of things, you know, you, I, I've been doing it for three years now. So I was in corporate before. Ah, oh, right. Uh, like stuff fun, corporate. Finance for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. And then I sort of stuff it. <laughs> That's <laughs> sick, man. Good on you. It is something that I enjoy. So. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you've seen the episodes, but like I dropped these I three times. Yeah, yeah. Drop it in. in the mud, man, yeah, and it was yeah. just everywhere. Hey, that's what I thought I'd take it to you. Uh, let me get this lid off. malfunction I had a mic malfunction so we didn't capture any of the, the goodness that we spoke about before what stage are we up to now we just did the washing stage we just finished the washing stage which is basically removing a majority of the dust and grime that, that the bike came up with so now what we're doing is we're doing a second stage of cleaning which includes a bit of a degreasing a bit of a cleanup of the spokes from front and back and uh, once we finish that we'll do, do the leather cleaning and then application of some good quality wax on the paint booyah it sounds sick like man, it already is cleaner than what I'd ever get it. Yeah, and check out over here. So this is like, this is all the, all these cleaning goods that he's got for it. Detailhub.com.au, look at that. All the Swiss, the Swiss goods. So you're like, stuff this job, man. <laughs> this is like spokes, spokes, nah. I would just like, I'll give it a little rinse off, give it a hose down, give it a pressure blast. I love a pressure blast, but getting on all the spokes and everything. And I feel like that's one of the complaints about the, the street scrambler I've seen people have is just the cleaning of it. Because it's just, there's so many tiny little spots, man. Absolutely. He sells brushes as well. Because brushes are key for a good clean. <laughs> I don't know any brushes. I don't know anything. Look at these. All these spokes are shiny again. Like it was so crazy, like seeing how my bike was, the condition of it, when we were doing the Around the Backyard tour. Like, I mean, the back tire, the back rim, from us spraying the chain cleaner and then the, the lube on it as well, that just flicking off, coating my rim just with this, just gunk, just mud and gunk, and that was just throughout the whole bike. There were some moments when I thought I just destroyed the bike, hey? I was like, this is it, it's, uh, it's done. We're never gonna have a nice clean bike again. So this is like, yeah, it's pretty exciting for me. We missed this area in washing, so you, you basically can use the brush and just clean up all yeah. these angles. Right. And you can see this dust coming out already. So he's gone through and cleaning the crap out of my hand controls and everything. Look how these things are turning up. 
This is sick. So what, what are you using there for this? So this is a plastic protection. So basically what it does is basically gives it moisture. It. Oh, yeah. uh, it gives moisture, adds moisture to the plastics. Because generally what happens with the bikes is uh, with the sun and everything, it dries out quite uh, quickly, especially with the UV rays. Yeah, that's uh, right. So like, like skin, if you apply a moisturizer, the similar thing needs, plastic needs a similar thing. Yeah. So uh, basically it adds conditioner. So as you can see, it's a plastic conditioner. Yeah basically adds moisture so that plastic doesn't get cracked right, on it. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a really purpose. And then it looks all shiny and looks bloody brand new. So, Because uh, I just use Armor All. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's sprayed one, on everything. Yeah, that's one thing you can use as well, yes. Sure. <laughs> like we have got uh, a conditioner specific to the material, what it is, plastic, yeah. vinyl, uh, leather has got a conditioner as well. Right, uh, yeah. and the paint has got conditioner, which is the waxes, which is basically adds moisture and uh, gloss to the paint right. and protects it basically from uh, uh, environmental damages basically. Okay. Yeah. And even the quad lock, look at this thing. Man. <laughs> it's so sick. How do you clean all the, the crap out of the grips so here? So with the brushes, like uh, the, the brushes that I showed you. Yeah. Uh, There's like yeah. a million brushes. A tiny bit of brushes, you basically uh, use the, uh, the top part of bits of it and then basically you clean it up like this. Get in there. Yeah, get in there. It's got the hard uh, bristles at the front. Get a hold of this and then just rub it. Yeah, as I said, the brushes are the key yep. in uh, bike detailing. There you go. Tools of the trade, man. Far out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, stuck in there forever. Yeah, because man, I thought I thought these were never going to look the same again. And look at that. And I'll show you the other side. So all the plastics and rubber, they all need conditioner. Sure. Yeah, because that, like, I've cleaned that so many times, man. Yeah. It's coming along. It's coming along and it's looking sick. This wax is specifically for matte, mm -hmm. matte paint. Um, so it gives a nice depth to the paint as well. It doesn't give a gloss at all. Oh, oh right, okay. Yeah, so the same application, you clean the paint and then oh, all this matte right. area, you'll probably see before and after. If it took oh, before, yeah, for sure. You can see this. Yeah, I can see the difference there. Man. He did all this to a, an old school 67 Mustang as well, the whole body, hands. What do you mean, nice to feel the whole thing? Absolutely. Just, uh, filling all the all the lines, all the grooves and everything. And then like, yeah, it just comes out looking ridiculously good. I'm so curious to see how this will turn out. Uh, that's all right. Oh man, that's awesome. So this stain happened ages ago when I took the scramble off road that time with Nick and mud got up there and I just have not been able to get it off this whole time. And I've watched this bike maybe, I don't know, 10 times since then. And straight away. So what, what did you use on that? What's this? So this is, a, th this is a strong leather cleaner. Oh, um, right. So, uh, basically what it does is basically all this brush, the combination of the color lock leather brush and the strong leather cleaner. Sure. You apply uh, a squirt and then basically just try to gently get into the deep pores because that's what it is like with the leather, the pores actually would, would store all the dust and grime basically and that's what it, this was. Oh, right. Um, so the, the <laughs> bristles actually help uh, agitate the dust from the sure. leather and then clean it up. Uh, so this is a clean cloth. Yeah. Uh, uh, as you can see. It's got yeah, right. right so, and you can see the the this one is not done yet, and that one's done. So you can see the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It actually, it just became part of the furniture for me. I was just <laughs> used to seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you take your bike to this guy, because he'll clean it for you. It's nice. And the steel wool. Yeah. That's insane, man. I wouldn't even thought that you clean that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, everything, whatever you can see, we'll try and clean it up. Sure. And if your hands can't reach, you've got to make your own tools. Improvise, eh? Improvise, exactly. Yeah, man, I'm never riding this again. <laughs> <laughs> all the links to all his stuff are in the description below. Go and check him out. Go and hit him up. If you need to buy a clean, you're in Sydney. He is the guy. Sick, bro. Thanks again, man. Thank appreciate you, man. it. Appreciate it as well. Whoo! Look at this thing. No, don't look. It's going to be a surprise for later. Thanks, brother. Okay, thank you, mate. No worries. How sick is that, man? This bike is clean as, uh, like I said, I'll give you guys the reveal when this episode is on the tail end. Absolute legend, man. Absolute legend. What a guy. If you guys want to get some detailing done to your bike, make sure you go and hit him up. Such a lovely dude. He does an incredible job, man. All right, so we're going to head home. Let's get this competition underway, baby. 
So you guys saw how gnarly that trip was, how dirty we all got, how just filthy my bike was, hence the clean today. Well, the things that were kept dry and super clean during the whole trip were the things that were inside our USA dry packs. Now I'm talking rain, dust, mud, clay, like we had the works, we had it all. But inside, our USA dry packs kept everything so nice and clean and dry dust free. It was actually incredible. There's so many times we're just like, nah, nah, no way. There's no chance. There's no chance. Osa, your turn. Is everything dry in the dry packs? So for this, Usa dry packs and X brand goggles have reached out and they want to do a giveaway for you guys. So you can get on the road and go on a massive tour and keep all your items nice, dry, clean, fresh. The giveaway prizes include one Usa Nova backpack in black, one 40 litre black Draco duffel, 125 triple black tail pack, one 15 litre duffel bag in black, and one three litre leg bag. That's just from Usa. Then we've got X brand goggles as well. Jumping on board, keen as to give away one of their X brand goggles in black and silver and 1X Lucid Goggle in solid gold. And then these Lucid Goggles, man, these things are just so insanely clear. They've got the XDO lenses, which are the, one of the clearest lenses you can get for a set of goggles. And the field of view is enormous. It doesn't feel like you're wearing goggles, man. They're actually incredible. So the winner takes home the bunch, which is pretty damn incredible. And you guys obviously know that I love, I love my Usa dry packs. These have been 5,000 kilometers around New South Wales through all the harshest conditions and everything inside of them were kept so dry. So that's only the, uh, that's the 40 liter and that's a 25 liter. So the winner takes home all the extras as well, which is a combined total of 113 liters, man. 113 liters, over $600 worth of prizes to be won. Now, all you have to do to be in the draw to win this absolute bundle of goodness is jump on the gram and follow myself at Motofills, follow X Brand Goggles Australia and follow Usa Dry Packs ANZ and tag a mate in the comment section of my photo that I've just put up. You'll see it just saying, giveaway. Just tag a mate in that and uh, you're in the draw, baby. That's it. That's all you have to do. I wish you luck. Cause you will be, you'll be stoked. You'll be so stoked, man. That's, that's a lot of literage. That is a lot of travels. That's a lot of packing gear. You'll be stoked. You really will. Now entries are restricted to Australian and New Zealand citizens only and applications finish. The lines close at 11.59 PM, Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time on Wednesday, the 17th of March, 2021. And the winner will be announced on Sunday, the 21st of March, 2021. I can't wait. It's gonna be sick. This is my very first competition that I've ever run. So um, keen to do more. There's gonna be a lot more actually. I've already teed some up. It's gonna be sick. I wanna get you guys some stuff. All right, so should we check out this bike and see how it actually looks? We'll do a little before and after and, um, and yeah. And then I'll, I'll say I'll say sayonara right here. Hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Support the boys and I'll see you in next week's vid. Peace!